Well, I was just uh, looking through all my little trinkets and I found this. It's a uh, mask. You all know uh, what film it's from, V for Vendetta. And the meaning of this mask, which is revenge. In the horror community, there are a lot of masks. You know, I mean, most actors in the horror community, they wear masks. They're, they uh, are PR hounds and that. I mean, the horror socias, I mean, oh my god. You know, it's like, it's like, yeah. I'm such a wonderful person. I love you all. You're special to me. You know, everything that you do, I just so care about you. It's all a mask. It's all fake. It's all PR. They don't care about you. They care about your money. They care about what you can do for them. That is the sad truth. With me, I don't wear one of these. I don't wear a mask. When you see me, you see me. The problem is, is my enemies... They paint me in a rather, you know, nasty way. They paint me with words like calling me a stalker, calling me a slanderer, and calling me a bully. The truth is, ladies and gentlemen of the horror community, is... I am none of these. I don't lie. I tell the truth. And here's the truth. Uh, I don't, you know, I'm not a stalker. Uh, let's, let's put it this way. I'm too busy to be a stalker. I don't go on all these uh, people's profiles and spend the day looking at them. You know, honestly, you know, they, they sit there and say that I'm stalking Jen and Sylvia Soska. Excuse me. Here's the truth. I blocked Jen and Sylvia Soska. I can't even see their profiles. I can't see their profiles. They're blocked. They don't exist in my world on Facebook. You know, I mean, I do talk about them because they're a couple of fucking bitches. They fucking stabbed me in the back. They stabbed my friends in the back. I knew them Four years. Uh, and I'm sorry, Rebecca. I'm sorry, women in horror, but you are all full of shit. When you say, oh, Eric, you're just delusional. You never knew the Soskas. Oh, bullshit. Bull fucking shit. I should honestly get my sister on here because... Uh, Jen and Sylvia Soska blocked her. She used to talk to Jen and Sylvia Soska on the phone, too, when they called me here at the house. They've called my house, people. So I knew Jen and Sylvia Soska. Stop lying, people. They say that I stalked 
Michelle Shields? No. Derek Young and my crew told the horror community, no, that in fact, Michelle Shields was throwing herself at me at Days of the Dead in Indianapolis. She said that I sexually harassed her. Give me a fucking break. I was at the table. She came to my table. I have people who will back me up. I have pictures of her coming to our table. Even after she was put in the independence room, which was across from the vendor's room where we were. She came and sought us out. We didn't seek her out. So, no, I did not stalk Michelle Shields. I regret having her tongue down my throat. But, no, I didn't stalk her. Another thing is that they say that I have been slandering people. Nope. Sorry. For one thing, you guys are using the wrong term. In face on Facebook we write. So that would be libel, which shows your ignorance. Slander is verbal. And I haven't slandered anyone on my radio show either. I've told the truth. I've backed up everything I've said with fact. So when you back it up with fact, it is not slander. It is not libel. Period. So just remember that, people. I have not slandered a person at all. On top of that, they say that I am a bully. The fact is that I have never bullied anyone in my life. I'm sorry. Uh, in fact, I'm the one who has been bullied. If anything, I have been defending myself against attacks by others. Uncle Bob Martin, the former managing editor of Fangoria, took down my Wikipedia page to be a fucking dill hole. He sat there and laughed about it with a known internet troll named Mike White. Mike White attacked me and the Wolf Pack and a friend of mine and did it for four months. He bullied us. He bullied it to bullied to the point where my friend walked out on horror. I've actually had seven friends walk out on horror because they were bullied. They were picked on. They were attacked. One friend of mine is coming back to horror, but she was actually uh, screwed over by those wonderful Soska girls that everyone thinks is so above everything. No, the fact is, people, you know, I stay on my Facebook page, I stay on my own personal blog, and I go on my radio show. We, ha you know, on my radio show, 
we have 475 shows and I would say maybe 10 shows out of that have been commentaries. 10 shows have been hatchet shows, period. 10 shows out of 475. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm such a bully. I've been using my podcast to attack people. That's all I use my podcast for. No, I'm sorry. I do horror chat. I do uh, full spectrum horror. I do Pandora's Crypt, which is uh, a paranormal show. I do a lot of other things except for doing hatchet shows and bringing the hatchet down on assholes. So, your arguments on that are full of shit, too. And you guys bitch about my commentaries. Well, the thing is that my blog is called Eric Morris Raw. It is my raw comments, my raw commentaries on the horror community. If you don't want to read it, don't read it. It's one blog in so many blogs. But you guys read it. And you guys sit there and go, Oh, well, Eric Morris is so horrible. Oh my god, he's doing all this. One fucking blog. Give me a fucking break. I do one blog, you know, well... You know, what I'm saying is it's on one fucking blog in the entire internet. And you guys are making it out like I've got a hundred blog sites and I'm just tearing you apart. I'm just this horrible, nasty ogre who's just tearing all you incredibly talented people down. Give me a fucking break. Oh my fucking god. Get a fucking life, people. Jesus fucking Christ. But the truth is, people, you guys are pathetic ego cases. I mean, you look at you look at what happened with Jessica Cameron. Jessica Cameron let her little mask slip. And people saw what a shallow-ass piece of shit she was. And what did her buddies in the horror socials and women in horror do? Hmm? What did they do? They ganged up on her. They all ganged up on her. Just like they ganged up on Char Harden when she was beaten up. And thrown in a dumpster. Can you guys actually... You know, I, I really don't understand how you guys can look in a mirror. After doing shit like that. A woman is traumatized. She is beaten down. And you guys attack her. What a low life bunch of shitholes you are for that and you sit there and call me a troll call me a bully look in the mirror people take a good fucking look i'm the guy who is the proponent for anti-bullying I'm the guy who helped write Psychotic State, which is a slasher film that has an anti-bullying message. Right now, I am also writing Psychotic State, the novel, that has an anti-bullying message. I'm the guy who is running Artists in Horror Month 
which is trying to get this fractured piece of shit horror community back together by giving people recognition and appreciation. Think about that. Oh yeah, a real bully's going to do that. A real bully, you know, they won't care. They're, they'd be sitting there laughing. Me, I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted with the way the horror community has come. come. When I started with the horror community, it was like a family. Now, it is like a schoolyard full of bullies. I'm sorry. Just, you know, it, it, it disgusts me. And it disgusts me because I actually care. And I'm not going to be quiet about it. I'm not going to be silenced. And I'm not going to be like you. Wearing a mask. And lying. And being fake. So just remember that, people. When you see me, you see me. Well, that's it for my first Keep America Strong Watch Horror Films.